Welcome back, my friends. Alright, so let's continue Psalm 45. This is a, also a very encouraging psalm. Um, in Hebrews um, chapter 1, uh, a lot of the psalm is within Hebrews chapter 1. So this just confirms that uh, Jesus is um, greater than than the angel, and he's also greater uh, than any of the priests, that he's greater than Moses, that he's greater than all these things, that he's the greatest of all. Um, and this just confirms it, because look at the verse 4, and in thy majesty ride prosperously because of truth and meekness and righteousness, because Jesus had all these qualities. But look at this. His majesty ride. Um, I'm thinking of Jesus on a white horse. He's going to come back again. And he's going to be on a white horse. Not the white horse of uh, death. Or the the four horsemen of the apocalypse. That's the different. Those are different horses. Uh, this one is the one. <laughs> like the one and only. <laughs> From the one and only God above all gods. Because of his truth and meekness, he can uh, rule and reign. Uh, and his right hand shall teach terrible things. I'm thinking, uh, you know, out of his right hand, you know, comes, you know, these missiles from heaven. You know, maybe millstones that are, you know, who knows what's going to happen. There's some great stuff here. Um in Isaiah 63, it says that, um, he, let's just go there. In Isaiah 63. So far, I don't know exactly. So, who among Edom and from the city of Basra dressed in red? Who is the... Who is this that dressed in fine clothing, marching toward his great power? Uh, he says, I, the Lord, speak what is right. I have the power to save you. Someone asks, why are your clothes bright red as if you, have, you had walked on grapes to make wine? The Lord answers, I have walked... In the winepress alone, and no one among the nations to help me. I was angry and walked in the nations and crushed them because of my anger. Well, this is, I'm, I'm reading NCV. Uh, blood splattered on my clothes and stained all my clothing. I chose a time to punish people. And the time has come for me to save. So, this is interesting. So, he's not only coming in wrath to punish people, but he's also coming to rescue people. Rescue his beloved, his peculiar people, his special people, Israel. He's going to change Israel's hearts, and it's, fan it's going to be fantastic. Trust me. Uh, we're going to be there representing him. Um, let's go back to the psalm. Okay. So he's going to teach these terrible things from his own self. Uh, nine arrows are sharp. Uh, in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people fall under thee. Crazy. That's just what we read. Thy throne, O God, is a scepter forever and ever. The scepter of the kingdom is a right scepter. So you're going to, uh, Jesus is going to rule uh, in the millennial kingdom with an iron fist. And it's also... He's going to rule righteously. Um, thou lovest 
righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, thy God, hath anointed thee uh, with the oil of gladness above thy fellows also in Hebrews. Okay, you guys, we'll look at the verse 8 later. Uh, you guys have a great day. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.